Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Gibraltar to go and check out, well, a cruise ship and a luxury yacht hotel. It's a little bit of both. This is the Sunborn in Gibraltar. It's never set sail. It's a five-star hotel and casino. This place also has a pool deck, a sun deck, some very exclusive restaurants, and I'm staying in something called the Rock Suite. This is gonna be interesting, come on. It's in a really lovely area of Gibraltar, right in Ocean Village. There's loads of restaurants and shops. If you saw my live on Gibraltar or you saw my video on Gibraltar, you'll know exactly where I'm talking about. I am already checked in and my room, I believe, is right at the back of the boat. Let's head in. Nice carpeted walkway as you come up. that just as you would on a cruise ship where you can see the water and the dock. It smells really nice in here. Look at that chandelier. It's like satin or something. Let's head up to the room. I could use the stairs, I could use the lift. So I'm floor number six. They've got penthouse suites, ocean suites, rock suites. Wow, what great views. Look, you can actually see the airport of Gibraltar. The most dangerous airport in the world, some people say. Nice view of the marina though, that's really nice. 6.01 I'm in. Shame we're not in a penthouse suite. But I'll take the, oh, there's only one on this level, that's sweet. 6.01, down here. Well, I've never been on a cruise ship, but this is, I guess, the closest thing I'm going to come to at the moment to being on a cruise ship. Wow, the doors, these weird silver things on the wall. Very nice. I feel underdressed. 6.01, right at the end of the corridor. Let's head in. Wow. This is uh, big. This is a suite with a balcony. First room that I've seen, it's frosted glass, so I can only assume it's the toilet, yes. Nice small little sink. Why is that marble? I don't know, marble on the floors. Check that out. That looks like gold, that can't be gold, can it? I'm not in the Burj Al Arab. I really do like these, these lights. Is that lavender? Quite surprised about that. I thought there'd be a luxury toilet flush there. So it's called a rock suite, wooden floors throughout, which is nice. So this is the living space. First of all, we've got a little office area if I want to do a little bit of work. Oh, nice leather chair. It's a square pen. You ever seen a square pen before? A little notepad. The plug sockets and the USB is actually embedded into the desk. Nice little office light and some mirrors. But first things first, I've got a mini bar. Oh yeah, look at that. Now I don't, I'm always scared, but I don't believe this is censored. No, it's not. A lot of American hotel suites are censored, aren't they? So if you pick them up, it charges you. So here, at least I can have a good look at what's on display. Oh, my OCD, I need to turn that round. There you go, that's better. In the mini bar list. So six, seven pound for beer, five pound, red wine, 12 pound. A Coke is three pound. So much more respectable than the Burj Al Arab that was ridiculous. And randomly, just one little Twix bar in there. Shut that up. My little tea and coffee facilities. Tastes like fresh milk, eh? Some sugar, tea and coffee. The kettle's right at the back. Nice and clean. Nice little kettle, that is. Looks like a travel kettle, isn't it? A Levancy Modo Mio coffee machine. Some water and a bottle of red wine. Now, is that part of the mini bar, is it? I don't know. What else is in here? Oh, is that like a dishwasher? We're going crazy. More stuff in here, look. Cups and saucers, obviously for the wine. Wine glasses, some nuts. Now, obviously I haven't stayed in too many five-star hotels, as you know, but it's really nice when you get a little bit of a welcome. So I've got 
some orange juice, a little bit of a Spanish platter here with a little bit of tapas on it, some uh, Spanish meat, which is quite nice, some good old British crackers there, some, I think, pumpkin seeds and cheese. And I assume this must be complimentary, this gold champagne with champagne glasses. Actually, I'm just interested, as this is uh, like an ocean liner, Oh, I thought that might be strapped down. But that's the beauty of it, because it's never been out to sea. It was never deemed to go out to sea. They can put tables there without having to lock them down. Huge telly. Let's go and check out the bedroom. Are these, all oh, right, so I can corner these all off. So you can have a completely separate living room. Let's check it out. Again, I can see into the bar from there. We've got a huge TV, but I like the way it can all be open plan with the balcony. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Guest room control system. All right, so I can control the lights, the curtains, the temperature, housekeeping. Let's just hit home. View one, is this like a, oh, I thought that was like a webcam of the actual hotel. It's not real time though. Can I close the curtains with these? Hang on, blackout shade. So let's close. Oh, it's working. Because that was quite old, I didn't think that'd be working. Wow, look at that. And these also work on that too. The shade, open. <laughs> so I can lay in bed if I'm lazy. I will do the bed test in a moment, but first, I have to check out my huge balcony that is literally on the back of the ship. Just look how much space I've got. And this is the view over Ocean Village. I can even see the rock just there. Wow. And it comes with a couple of deck chairs. You can see out here with my champagne. Very nice. Shame the sun doesn't come in because above me is the plunge pool, which I can hear people splashing around in. What's great about it is that I can open up the balcony doors to the living room as well. But let's go and check out the bed and do the bed test. Because with a five-star hotel, you expect the beds to be very nice. I've took my shoes off for this as well. Is this a queen or a king? I always get confused with the size of the bed, but I can tell you it's a big bed. And it's great because, uh, well, I won't just be staying here with Gabby tonight. Casper's gonna be joining us. And nine times out of 10, he does end up in the bed too. So it is quite retro with the style. I think it's leather, isn't it? Red leather. And up here, interesting look with the, the headboards. Is this leather as well? Oh, I thought this was plastic. This is leather as well, very nice. Some very, funky little cased in leather reading lights. How do they turn on? I guess you, oh, like that. And also attention to detail, some lighting underneath the little bedside tables. They look like they're floating, don't they? Soft pillows, obviously I'll have to try and get some firm pillows, but wow, what a view. Just checking out the walls. It's that snake skin leather. Very nice going into the bathroom, which we'll check out in a second. Look at that. So you can see all the way through into the bathroom. Got the posh hangers here, the nice foamy ones. And they look like gold hangers as well with the logo. This is all snake skin. What's in here? Oh, little vanity kit. A shoe shine, a shoe sleeve or shoe horn. A shoe mitt, shaving kit, dental kit, sewing kit. Oh, wow, that's all That's all in there. And some branded dressing gowns. There's the iron behind there. And I guess here is the trusty hairdryer. These are good though, aren't they? To put your, I guess, underwear in. But you can access this from both sides. But the main event, the bathroom. And I am gonna say wow, because there's not just a bath in here in all this beautiful marble, but there's also a shower and a separate toilet. Wow, just look at this. So nice. I do like the lighting underneath as well. It does give it depth. Loads of towels. Oh, look at this. I've got one of those really nice, proper, um, like bath mats to put down. Or maybe it's for the shower because I've just seen another one branding on the side. And I've just noticed, is that if we were ever out to sea and the bath spilled over, it would go down the drain? Possibly. But the bath is very nice. And I love all this gold. It does make it feel rather luxury. Some shower gel, complimentary shampoo, and also 
an extra shower head. Gabby likes stuff like that because then she can um, wash her hair easy. So up here we've got a couple of glasses, some flannels, shower cap, more complimentary um, soap there. Oh, that's on the wonk. And I assume this is the toilet. I love this gold. It's really nice. And most places outside of the UK do have these, which is quite handy if you have a little bit of a problem when you go to the toilet. And it acts as a wet room as well because it all drains down there. But yeah, you can use that warm shower on your bum, which is actually quite hygienic. I can't believe we've been talking about this, rather than using <laughs> loo roll. Little sunburn sticker there. And the shower. Wow, this is nice. A rainfall shower just up there. This must be a pain to clean, but it's almost like it's been polished. I guess that's what you get in a five-star hotel. And look, there's no drain in there. The actual drain is that square thing. Let's close the door. This is huge in here. This is massive. Well, I'll tell you what, random thing to say, but this bathroom is my favorite thing about the whole room. And of course the balcony. Well, the suite is amazing. Let's go and check out the rest of the hotel. There's a casino, there's a plunge pool upstairs and a bar. There's also a restaurant we're gonna have dinner in. But before we do any of that, I wanna see Gabby's reaction. Hello? Can I come in? <laughs> and it's thumps. What do you think? Wow. Is that for us to eat? Yeah. Wow. 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 Oh my God. I've never stayed in a hotel where there's been some flowers <laughs> placed around the bar. Obviously, I'll go and explore the hotel. I don't think I can film in the casino, but it is during the day. I might be able to, but I doubt it. Let's go find out. So looking down, the casino's on the second level, but on the first level, we've got a ballroom. Deck one. Oh, it looks a lot different down here. The only other cruise ship I've actually been on is the Queen Mary in Long Beach. Wow, is it the ballroom? Look at this. You can't believe you're inside a ship. I hope you don't get in trouble for this. I just want to welcome you to the Sunborn Gibraltar. I hope you have a wonderful evening of dinner and dancing. Do you reckon I'll get a job here? I doubt it. Someone has to polish all of this stuff. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a cocktail bar quite like this before. Something like out of Superman. This is amazing. Wow, this is nice. How comfy these chairs look. Let's check out 4-7. There is a spa, sun deck and pool, the aqua bar and wheelhouse. A restaurant in there. Before we go and check out the pool, which I believe is this way, let's go to the wheelhouse. Wow, look at the views. Ocean Village. Looks amazing. By the way, if you've ever thought about coming to Gibraltar in um, early May, well, it's very warm. It's about 28 degrees. I, I still think more people need to come to Gibraltar for a holiday because there's so much here to do. I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video. I like how they've changed all the sunbeds to face in the direction of the sun. Look at this. You can still see the, the wheelhouse there. It would have been good if they'd have had a couple of hot tubs there. And for people that love plane spotting, Gibraltar Airport is there. And if anybody knows about Gibraltar, planes have to come in at a quite a steep angle because they're not allowed to fly over Spanish airspace. I think that's right anyway. That's La Nina over there. And the rest of Spain, Marbella, all up there. But it's very warm. I think it's time to go and check out the pool. I won't go in the pool, don't worry. You won't see these out yet. There's another casino over there. I'll check out the restaurant a little bit later. What odd little seats. It's hard to believe there is a pool here. It's not like a big pool. It, I guess you'd call it a bit of a, a plunge pool. Oh, look at that. With views over the rock. Isn't that amazing? More sunbeds over here. And they've got a bar too. Obviously, this is not complimentary. You won't have to pay for it. 
and my room literally is just underneath it. Let's go right to the end. Gabby's gonna come in. This is a weird one to get into. Oh, there are steps, are there? Yeah. That's what I mean. You don't need, I can't you don't do need steps, Gabby, just jump in. <laughs> you just have to make such a big deal. It's not that bad. No one else has made this much of a big deal about getting in the pool. Not even thumps, look. There we go, there she goes. I can't reach the floor, where is it? It's, it's there. <laughs> How's it feel now you're in? Yeah, it's not too bad. This camera is not waterproof, and this I've got an thumps. Easy length, isn't it? <laughs> I've got thumps trying to splash it and splash me. What a view, though, eh? <sighs> this is so nice and a pleasant surprise because I didn't think this place actually had a pool. So obviously, staying overnight, we check out the breakfast and then we check out dinner tonight. We couldn't get some beds. No, but we've got these stylish deck chairs instead and gone for a couple of trips. What, what is that? This is a coconut and mango smoothie. Mine's strawberry pineapple. It, no, raspberry pineapple and something. Look, someone's getting married. Or well, someone has just been married. Well, it's time to go out for dinner and I thought I would dress in red tonight. Oh, yeah, and Casper is also in red. How cute is that? Gabby's not in red though, she's in purple. Although, um didn't check if there's a dress code. Let's hope there isn't. Let's hope there isn't, yeah. Wow, look at all the wine. Oh, thank you very much. So, very nice sunset view. Now the menu, I've just been told, is something called all you can wish for which means Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and luckily today it's Wednesday. Order unlimited food per person, up to two dishes at a time. For £36.50, you can order anything off the menu, as much as you want. Wow, amazing. So it's perfect for someone who does not know what they want for food. And that is exactly the situation I'm in right now, actually. So I thought I'd order a cocktail, and I didn't know what cocktail to order. And I said to the, uh, the barman, I said, just order me something that looks good. Look at that. It smells good too. Is that cinnamon that's been singed? Let's try it. I don't know what's in it. But wow, it's fruity, it's tropical. It's special. So the all you can wish for menu is smaller than your normal main menu. We've gone for salmon gravelax. You've never tried caviar never in your life. Go on, get, get some of the, just the caviar and try just, it. Yeah, I should. Burst in your mouth. And it's supposed to taste very fishy. Is it nice? Yeah, it's really good. The way you order it like this is almost like a tasting menu. I'm gonna go all in with the salmon and the caviar because I'm greedy. With the sour cream and strawberries, that really works. Tuna tartar. I've no idea what this is, but I'm gonna try it. Wow. What's great about this menu is half this stuff I would probably never try because it's a little bit too fancy. You can try just little mini versions of it. I'm not normally one for raw fish, but this is really good. So although it sounds greedy, because the plates are so small, like a tapas, you get to try all these different meals, but you don't get full, which is great. So there's plenty of room for dessert. Dessert, I've gone for churros in some dipping sauce. Never tried these before. I've never had a meal quite like that before. That was really good, very filling. I'm off to bed, I'll see you in the morning. No, no. Morning. I'm going to drink my tea, have a look at the view, and then go down for breakfast. Morning. Morning. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Well, breakfast is obviously served to you. Scrub that. It's a buffet. Let's go and check it out. Oh wow! Look at the fruit. Lots of fresh fruit. Some salmon, and of course the great British breakfast. Wow, even the poached eggs are already done. What's that? I like the fact that they keep the bread all contained so it doesn't go stale. So I thought I might as well start with a fruit option first. And then of course, the proper English breakfast. Beautiful. Bye, 
Well, I've never stepped foot on a cruise ship and I guess this is the closest thing I'm gonna get at the moment to trying a cruise, but without going anywhere. It's not sponsored by Sunborn Gibraltar, but I wanna say a massive thank you for them letting us come and stay in one of their amazing rock suites. The amount of times I've walked past here, I didn't even realize they had a pool up there. It's quite amazing what you can fit on a ship of actually this size, combining a cruise ship with a super yacht. The staff are really nice as well. They couldn't do enough for us. I love the fact there was a variety of bars as well. So there's also the pool bar, but you've also got a couple of bars indoors as well. The restaurant last night, I really liked the idea of where you could try a little bit of the whole menu. It was quite nice, but just a smaller portion. Yeah, I really loved that. And, and to be fair, there was enough variety on there so that you could try completely different style dishes as well. Obviously, I didn't get a chance to go into the casino because obviously uh, we've got a little one and I didn't think it'd be fair to Gabby to go and lose all my money. Don't forget, if you've never been to Gibraltar, you need to click this video right here in front of Gabby's face. Please do give the video <laughs> a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.